a common consultation that i see patients in the outpatient department is for an incidentally detected fatty liver on an ultrasound scan during a routine checkup the question is what next the first point that you must know is that fatty liver is not the disease but it is an association fatty liver happens because there is another condition in you that is causing it the main idea during evaluation is to identify that cause so what are the common causes of fatty liver detected on an ultrasound let us discuss one you could be consuming significant amount of alcohol leading to alcohol related fatty liver for men consuming more than 4 drinks on any day or more than 14 drinks in a week and for women consuming more than 3 drinks on any day and more than 7 drinks a week is considered significant alcohol use so what is a standard drink so a standard drink is defined as 10 grams of pure alcohol which is equivalent to the alcohol that is seen in a small glass of wine which is about 100 ml at 13% alcohol by volume a can or bottle of beer which is about 375 ml at 3.5% alcohol by volume or a shot of whiskey or other hard liquor which is about 30 ml at 40% alcohol by volume the second cause of fatty liver detected on ultrasound is that you could be overweight or obese and have a high waist hip ratio so how do you assess that simple look at your body weight in kilograms and your height in centimeter use a body mass index calculator and calculate your bmi so a body mass index less than 18.5 is termed underweight a body mass index between 23 to 24.9 is considered overweight and more than or equal to 25 is obese a healthy waist hip ratio is about 0.9 or less in men and about 0.81 or less for women the third cause of a fatty liver detected on ultrasound could be the presence of diabetes high blood pressure a low functioning thyroid which is known as hypothyroidism high lipids that is high cholesterol in blood tests or high uric acid these are all conditions associated with a disorder known as metabolic syndrome so without al- significant alcohol use in the presence of overweight or obesity or metabolic syndrome the fatty liver that we come to know is called as non alcoholic fatty liver the fourth cause of fatty liver on an ultrasound include the use of certain drugs so there are specific drugs that can cause fatty liver these include steroids antibiotics like tetracycline antidepressant medications antipsychotic medications hormonal agents like estrogens um arthritis medications like methotrexate uh, there are certain cancer chemotherapy agents that can cause fatty liver and some painkillers and also herbal medications in both pill or powder and semi liquid and liquid forms that contain alcohol or other heavy metals that can lead to fatty liver now it is interesting to note that some people would not have any of the above but would still have fatty liver this can be due to a sedentary life lack of exercise high carbohydrate and high fat diet diets containing processed and ultra processed processed foods sugar sweetened beverages and lack of proper sleep all of these can cause non alcoholic fatty liver detected initially on ultrasound so once fatty liver is detected on ultrasound during a routine checkup as part of an investigation the first aim is to find out why fatty liver developed in you so depending on the cause or causes of fatty liver which could be one cause to multiple causes in the same person medical advice can be provided this means that the person can have alcohol use as the only cause of fatty liver which reverses after stopping the significant alcohol consumption or the person can have diabetes and alcohol use as the causes for fatty liver in which case the diabetes has to be controlled along with stopping of alcohol or the patient could be diabetic and obese in which case both control of diabetes and significant weight loss are important for reversal of fatty liver so in these conditions there are no specific drugs to target fatty liver but you target the cause of fatty liver so in this first episode i hope you have found the basics on fatty liver detection and further evaluation useful many patients come to me terribly worried that their grade 1 fatty liver has become grade 2 fatty liver some get anxious when the doctor tells them that they have grade 3 fatty liver forget patients doctors themselves get worried when they see patients progressing to grade 3 fatty liver on an ultrasound scan the question is should you be worried the simple answer is no let us discuss grade of fatty liver 
on an ultrasound scan is a description for detection of an extent of fatty liver. In many persons, it is usually an incidental detection that is fatty liver noted during a routine checkup or during workup of another disease. So what is a fatty liver on an ultrasound? So compared to a normal liver, a fatty liver appears too bright on the ultrasound and also compared to the surrounding organs such as kidney and spleen. This fat deposition also blurs the structures within the liver such as blood vessels and bile ducts making them poorly visualized. These findings form the grades of fatty liver on an ultrasound scan. From better visualized structures in the liver and extent of fatty infiltration that is grade 1 to poorly visualized structures and more fatty infiltration that is grade 3. The grading is in no way related to the fatty liver disease severity. Higher grades of fatty liver on ultrasound does not necessarily mean that you have more severe disease. Compared to grade 1 fatty liver, grade 3 fatty liver means that you have more fat deposit in the liver only. This does not correlate with more damage to the liver. Some studies have shown that higher grade of fatty liver patients may have more changes of having fibrosis or scarring of the liver. But this is not conclusive across all such studies. In this context, quantification of fat or serially checking the grade of fatty liver on follow-up ultrasound scan during treatment or otherwise is not recommended. It is not a good idea to keep looking at ultrasound scans to see if the fatty liver grades have disappeared or increased or reduced. Starting treatment for fatty liver just based on ultrasound detection is also not correct. Many doctors make this mistake. An ultrasound only fatty liver without any scarring or fibrosis in the liver and with a normal liver function test does not require any medical management or drug therapy. But higher grades of fatty liver on ultrasound can mean one thing. People with grade 3 fatty liver on ultrasound are at higher risk of developing cardiac related events that is heart related problems in the future. So if you see fatty liver grade 3 on an ultrasound that does not mean that you have a severe level of fatty liver disease. It means that in the presence of other diseases like diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure or high cholesterol, you are at higher risk of developing cardiac diseases in the future and you need to see a cardiologist for a proper cardiac health evaluation.